Hey you, happy Thanksgiving. I want to say that I was looking forward to coming on tonight. Um, I wasn't planning on it at first. I was, if anything, just say hi and happy Thanksgiving and tell you guys how much I love you and how thankful I am for all of you. But then I was getting caught up in all my subs and letting you guys know how I'm doing and what's going on and what I'm planning on doing. And I started seeing, please help the Idaho Four. So I said, okay, I will. There is a negativity on this case. And in the beginning when I was going to discuss it with, you know, people or collab on it, I was told, don't touch it. Don't touch it. And I was like, I can't help it. Because here I am and I'm trying not to, but you keep putting images in my head and names in my head. And you showed me in a dreams of how it went down. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to do a rod session. Because my rods are the closest thing of energy I have. And I feel very blessed when I use them. The smoke's going right toward me. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I've been praying for about 10 minutes now, just praying and saying our beautiful names of our victims, unfortunately. I hate saying that word. Of course, everything I say is alleged and for your entertainment purposes only. So, um... Oh, sorry, I thought I was hearing something, but my dog, neighbor's dog, won't stop barking. So if y'all hear the dog, please just ignore him. Um, I don't know. They won't let him in, I guess. And it's cold here, and it's sad, and it irritates me. It's like, what's the point of having an animal, you know? So, all right, Divine, I'm asking for you to come through for me today. My cross. I'm asking that you give me some straight answers of the Texas. Or Texas. Why did I say Texas? They want me to. Okay. I'll have to look that up. Something about Texas 4. It's kind of like the Texas 4. Which that's not true. Because unless there's a different crime I don't know about. And see that's another thing. I feel like these people... I feel like they did this before or will do it again for sure since they already have it. Yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, guys. It's going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to ask some questions. Um, All right, Divine, I know it's been a minute, and I am sorry. Center, please. Thank you. Divine, show us what answer is yes, please. What's yes? Wide and open. Okay, honey, thank you. Center, please. Thank you. Divine, show us the answer for no. Show us the answer for no, please. You want to cross it? Thank you. Thank you. Divine, I ask that you keep all negative energy back. Put the wall of light around me. Only my spirit guides can come through. And the souls that I call upon, if they choose to. Thank you. And my angels, of course. Divine. Recenter, please. Ah, recenter, please. Okay. Thank you. 
divine spirit guides. Does Madison have anything that she needs to sell us? Okay. Thank you. Okay, are you standing there, babe? Are you standing? Okay, you're standing here. Okay, sweetheart. Can you resend her for me, please? Does Kaylee have anything she would like to share with us today? Small yes? Kind of? Thank you. Madison? Kaylee? Is Ethan here? Wow. Thank you. Hi, Ethan. You center, please. And Divine, is Zaina here? Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm open to receive your message. The night that you, Maddie, and uh, Kaylee went to the food truck, does the guys in the photo at the food truck have anything to do with this? Like... The hoodie guy, Jack, I think his name. Does he have anything to do with this? Thank you, Divine. All right, recenter, baby. Awesome job. You're doing so good. What about the tan cap hair guy? I think his name is Joe. Did you ever see him before? At the bar. Divine. Maddie. Kaylee. Ethan. Ethan. Whoa, okay. Do you have a message, sweetheart? Whoa. Do you want to tell your parents that you love them and your sister and your brother too? Give me a hug. If you, oh, yep, there's the hug. You know they know this, sweetheart. It's okay. Catch the guy. I just heard that very loudly. Catch this guy. Okay, so in my EVP, guys, y'all all spoke a little. Sana, you did not speak much. Okay, that's like way behind me. Hi, honey. Thank you. Do you have a message, babe? I thought it was a dream. I was scared, but it went fast. I love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. I love you all. Recent, my friend. You know they know this, my friend. Madison, Kaylee. The guys at the food truck, did you know both of them? You're kind of. The guys at the food truck. Have you ever had them at your house before? Jack, yes. Jack, yes. And the other guy? Maybe. I'm going to maybe. Okay. Okay. The night that you went home, was there a mail with you guys? Like, were y'all alone? 
When y'all got to your house, were y'all alone? No. Was somebody with you? Yes. Was it Jack S? Was it Jack S? I keep hearing he showed up. Did he show up? Did y'all let him in? Keep hearing, I didn't want to. Hang on, I need just a second, guys. Just a second. I need a drink. Um, okay, so in my vision... Well, in my dream, it was my dream first. I didn't know much. I heard about the case probably a couple days before, but briefly on like Tend Life or Betty or I don't really remember. Um, I was like, oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. So that night when I went to sleep, it was right before the dawn because it was starting to light up when I woke up. I'm... Okay, so basically I'm in the bed looking down on the person in the bed. I see a man with brown hair. But when I pull out a knife and I go to, I guess, hurt them, I'm the person being hurt all of a sudden. And then when I come back out of hurting them, I'm that person, the, vic the, the person who is guilty. And I turn and I see um, Zaina sitting up in like shock. So then I hurt Zaina. And when I woke up, I was like flailing out in my sleep and my husband was like, calm down. I was like, oh my God, I, like I just got attacked. Like I felt like I was being attacked and attacking at the same time. It was scary. So I told myself I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to get their message out the best I can. I'm going to see if I can see what they show me. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm almost ready, guys. I'm almost ready. We center. Center. Awesome. Thank you. You still here, guys? Maddie, are you here? Kaylee, are you here? What about you, Ethan? Ethan, are you here, babe? I heard he has gone. He's, he had to go. Very angry. Okay. How? Okay. When y'all got home, you're at home. Okay. You think about it, you're at home. Um, I'm sure Ethan and Zana are in their rooms chilling. Tell me if that's correct. Maybe they're gone, gone off to bed already. It's about two. Is that correct? Okay. Who came in with you, Maddie and Kaylee? I feel like there was a man with you. Jack. I keep getting Jack. Okay. I don't even know if whoever is in. She's showing me that hoodie. So he's in the house with you. Is he like there for protection? Is he there just to get. Like friendship, friendship. He's there because he's a friend. Okay. All right. All right. Um, did y'all call anyone else to come over? Did anybody else show up? No. Did y'all go to sleep around 3.30? No. 
Did you go to sleep around 4 a.m.? Did Jack leave? Go back to the center for me. Okay, thank you. Did Jack leave? No. Did Jack open the door to anybody? Did he let anyone else in? That sounded like may, maybe. Okay. Let's ask that question again. Um, do you know any of you ladies? Sina, are you still here? I think she went with... Madison, Kaylee, are y'all still here? Ooh, okay. Thank you. Okay. So y'all let Jack in the house. Is Jack the right name? Let's try that one. Is Jack his right name? That's a yes. Big yes. Thank you. What about... So y'all let him in? Is that correct? Yes or no? And did he ever leave? No. Did he open the sliding door for someone else to enter? I just keep hearing I can't say. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Was... He the one who attacked you guys. Is Jack S or Jack, whatever his last name, I'm not even sure if it's S. I'm sorry if, it, if I'm getting that wrong. The white hooded guy, white hood guy in the truck video, the one who came home with you. Okay. Close it, please. Thank you. Do you believe he's the one who did this? It's funny. I can hear them actually like talking back and forth. And one's like, I don't know. He could have been. Maybe. I mean, we don't know. He never left. Like they're having a conversation. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Madison, y'all were trying to call someone. Did that person show up? Whoever you were trying to call. I think it was Jake, your ex. No. Kaylee. Kaylee's ex? Yes. Did he show up? No. Okay, so now you're in the house. Y'all are getting ready for bed. What happens as you lay down? Shh, go to sleep. I'm here to protect you. Sweetie, do you guys know who this guy is that hurt you? Seen him before, been following us around, always at the same club we we're at. Drinks on me, he says. Did he want a relationship with Kaylee? Did he want a relationship with Kaylee? No. He wanted a relationship with Madison? Yes. But he seemed to be stalking Kaylee. It's 
so that he can get close to Madison. Is that right? Okay. Give me just a second, ladies. Okay, give me just a second. <sighs> okay, I don't know if any of this is true. It's all allegedly, of course. Christmas is coming. I'm about to ask about law enforcement. I want to know how close we are to an answer on this one. Because they keep saying that the white hoodie guy has something to do with this. He has an alibi or a guess. Or he's not being looked at. Um, I feel like they should look at him. And I feel like they should look at tan guy also in the hat. Because... He's kind of inserted himself in since that video has been made, even though he knew it was being recorded. And then he says stuff like, ooh, I don't even know. Like, I didn't really like those grown up girls. I don't drink. You know, shit like that. So that bothers me. And the first instinct I got when I watched that video, you can notice how hoodie guy who says he's with the girls stands away He's got his cap pulled forward or backwards at first. And then he sees the camera. He flips his cap around and pulls his hoodie up and turns in the opposite direction and stands way back so you can't make out his face. Okay. Then whenever he goes to the other side of that cart, he stands in the shadows. So you can't make out his face until that guy approaches him and starts talking. I feel like those two knew each other from the club and they might have been talking this out. I thought that there was three people. I kept getting three people, three people. But, you know, I also heard triangle two times. So maybe there was something else going on. Um, like not any kind of weird stuff, but like something else going on with them. I don't know why I kept getting three people. So we'll ask that question and then we'll move on to how close we are with law enforcement. Okay, you guys, can you help me some more just for a few more minutes? Okay, reconnect, please. Come on. All right, Divine, are you here? Always. Thank you. Madison, are you still with me, sweetheart? Kaylee, are you still with me, love? Ethan, are you back? Okay. All right. Zena, are you here too, honey? I got cold on the side. That's why I was asking. Yeah. You're way back. Yeah. Back of my arm is like ice cold. So. All right, Divine. Will law enforcement close this case? Might take a bit. Okay, I heard that. Might take a bit. Do they have a suspect? No. Naive. I heard they're naive, they believe. Okay. Have they questioned the perpetrator already? So I feel I feel the same thing. I feel like they've already talked to the person who is at fault. I mean, think about it. You're questioning these people. They're giving you alibis. So you say, okay, well, that makes sense. But at the same time, you're not really like they're hugging me. They're like, I'm hugging you. Um, you get it. I hear that. You get it. So question them again. Okay. Recent your ladies, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, a little too hard. I heard that. Oh, that was a little too hard. Okay. Tell me how many people I'm going to count and you tell me yes or no. Was it one person only? Oh, I, yeah, I was thinking that. Was it two people? Recenter, please. 
Ooh. Was it two people only? No. Was it three people? Okay, recenter. I'm sorry. I heard that. Recenter, please. Thank you. You're so awesome. Was it three people only? Look out. Was one a look out? Like a getaway man sitting outside in the car. Like waiting. He got out. Oh my God. Did he get out and pee somewhere? So somewhere on the grounds, there's DNA. Um, yeah, by a tree. Like they're showing me some kind of tree and him leaning up against it and taking a pee real fast. And then hushing back to his car. That might be what I saw. Because I did see somebody in a jacket kind of jumping up and down because they're cold. And then they were like running off. Okay. Let's do center, ladies, please. Thank you. You have great control. Madison. If you say it's three people, is that correct? Now I'm getting a partial on that. Kind of. I don't understand what that means. Okay. When the crimes occurred, was there only one person in the house that did them? I keep hearing not too sure, not too sure, but three different individuals planned this. A group from the bar. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take a second. Give me a second, guys. I think we had, but there was no sexual. I'm trying to work it over in my head because it's not making sense to me. Why would three individuals break into a home to kill four, but only One's inside. I've seen him let somebody else in, and that person slides through the door almost like quietly. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This isn't. It might be. A, this might be long before we even know because if we already got so much DNA in that house because it's a party house and everybody's been coming and going. Okay, I'm gonna list the names. Ready? There was a name that I got in the EVP. Ooh, okay. That was a quick yes. Philip. Yes. Recenter, babe. The other one too, honey. Santa. Ethan. What is it, honey? Okay. I just heard he, that Philip was a jerk. <sighs> okay. Pissed off. Aggressive. Mean. Okay. Then we have the white hoodie guy. And I do believe his name is Jack. Is that right? Okay. Was he there? Yes. Okay. Who? Okay. Philip. Something about a fight. They're telling me like there was a fight the weekend before with Ethan and Philip. 
And he was yelling, like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, you wait. Like, I can see this guy being pulled away from the party, like, with two other guys. Like, come on, man. Let's leave. And I can hear Ethan going, you know what? Just get the fuck out of here. This is my house. He says, this is my house. And he's like, you just, you're not welcomed here. You need to leave. You need to get out. And I see Zayna, like, trying to make sure that Ethan's okay. So I guess there was a fight. Like, there was a fist fight. Like, they they fought. Whoever Philip is and Ethan had a fight. Okay. Sorry. I'm, when I start to see, I kind of zone out and don't realize what I'm doing. Okay. So, Philip, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Thank you. What are we doing? Why are we crossing? Be center. Thank you. Okay. Um, the guy in the white hoodie and baseball cap in the video knew him from school. Okay. Was at the party that night that the fight broke out. Okay. So I'm talking like maybe the weekend before, weekend before that, two weeks, give or take. There was like a fight. So we need to question the people that have been coming and going. And okay. What about the the cap guy, the the guy in the tan cap, the big guy at the truck? See, I'm kidding a maybe every time I ask about him. Does he know the guy in the white hoodie? Yeah, at the bar. Was Philip at the bar? Oh. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm done. Um, will law enforcement have more clues soon to crack this case? DNA, blood analysis, I'm hearing footprints, fingerprints. Um, I feel like something was stolen maybe from the house. Was something stolen from the house? Some jewelry, necklaces. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, I'm seeing like this conversation being taking place between these two guys. I think one's our white hoodie guy and one's Philip. They're talking like in the bar about getting payback because those girls were mean is what I'm hearing. Like those girls are really mean to you. Um, they're using you and you get nothing out of it. You can get me in the house. Like, there's a whole conversation being had. Whoever Philip is. Okay, so I also got another name. I got the name Cal. C-A-L at one point. Is that a real person? Or is that short for Kelly? Or Ky Kylie? Cal. C-A-L. Like. Yeah. I don't know who that is either. I heard I don't know who that is. Zena, Speedy, have you heard the name Cal? No. Ethan? No. Okay. Then I might have misunderstood that. Okay. All right, guys. Do y'all have anything else for me? Pay attention. And watch. They're telling me to have cameras watching. That's why everybody's but like send it all video. Also, that thing about the Wi-Fi. Very important. I got a very important vibe off the Wi-Fi. 
So I hope they check the Wi-Fi. All right. Thank you. I love you all. I hope you guys are resting and having the best uh, time of your lives. I know your sorrow. I can feel it. We miss our families and our lives. Okay. Divine, I'm asking you, Lord, to go ahead and shut down this session. I'm saying goodbye to the spirit realm, closing my third eye, and saying goodnight. I still feel like there's something connected. Whoa. Kathleen. Hmm. Okay, I just heard of Kathleen. Kathleen. Oh, okay. Um, Kathleen, your mom is telling me that your health is slipping. You need to see a doctor soon? Okay. I don't know how she slipped in. I guess it's because we're sisters, right? Ooh, you may need to go get checked out, my friend. She's telling me something about your breathing and tightness in your chest. She's saying it's more than stress. Okay. I, I passed the message, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Divine, I'm ready to be disconnected, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. So there's a little something, something. Um, I've been... Okay. So when I woke up from my dream... I saw on my phone that it was a article of the, you know, the four students, um, Madison, Kaylee, Ethan, and Zana. And I went, Oh my gosh. Well, I, I put two and two together. I feel like that dream was literally me being shown how it started because I didn't want to see that after I woke up. I didn't get to see what happened with the girls. And that's why I think that possibly, allegedly, of course, the couple downstairs went first, unfortunately. And God rest their souls. Um, but here's my deal. I saw him let somebody in. So I feel like somebody came in and this person took care of them. And this person took care of them. That's what I feel. Don't get me, you know, I may, not, I may be wrong. I can, always could be wrong. You know, this is just what I keep seeing over and over. Like they're separated. Took care, took care, came together, and then left together. So, okay. I've been... Babbing for a minute. Um, I'm going to try to do another reading before the end of the weekend for a personal read. Um, I'm reaching out to her. I've already left an email. Um, so as soon as she reaches back out to me, I will be getting on that. As soon as I can connect with the energy of who it is I need to connect with. And figure out how she wants to go about it. So 
Um, I pray for these families. I mean, to lose your children is terrible. And I hope that they find God's grace in everything they do. I hope that he lays his healing hands on their broken hearts right now and is standing with them with the angel's wings wrapped around them for comfort. Um, if anything else comes back to me or if I hear anything else, I will definitely put it out there for you guys. I just wanted to do a rod session because I knew that I needed a closer connection to God. And my rods to me are very, very special. I pray over them all the time. Even if I just lay my hands on them and pray over them, I only bring them out when it's like called for. And today it was called for. So I love you guys. I bless you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Let's do a closing prayer real fast. Dear God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've given us, the good and the bad. Unfortunately, we couldn't do both. I hope and I pray for these families. I ask that you lay your wonderful healing arms around them and just tell them that you're with them on these times. And I hope that we get closure soon on this case. And I pray that you ask, you know, ask these poor souls to be lifted up and into your arms because I feel like they're still here to put their message across. They need to go on to the light and not be afraid of it. But I know that they won't rest until they get justice. All right. In your name, Lord, let the justice come swiftly. Amen. All right. Guys, have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. I wish you all a beautiful evening. Love y'all.